Welcome to my Diary of a Pregnant Artist series. This week I just finished up my 21st week of pregnancy. I'm feeling my baby move a lot more now, which is exciting. It's, I can, the, the, the like kicks and jabs and all that is becoming stronger. So I don't just have to be laying down focusing on my stomach. I can feel it when I'm um, doing other things. And I've noticed a pattern where he seems to be more active in the morning, right when I wake up, and then after I eat meals or snacks, and then also um, when I'm in bed about to go to sleep. And in the last video that I made for my Diary of a Painter series that I put out last Sunday, I was talking about how I've been thinking about changing up the aesthetic of my paintings. Before, what I have done, well, especially like post, or during the atelier and then after, what I've been doing is more it's like telling, I like to tell mysterious stories in a dark shadowy atmosphere. And so I, I still want to tell like those like curious, mysterious stories. I like that a lot. I think that's really fun to try and get that in a still image. But instead of having the short, the stories be told in shadows, I'm going to try and push and tell those same moody stories, but in the light. So the story part wouldn't change for my paintings, just the aesthetic where I want my paintings to, be, paintings to be more bright and airy. And I like to work from life as often as I can. So the atmosphere of my studio looks pretty similar to what my paintings look like. So for this big painting that I'm working on right now, it's this glowing figure in a shadowy place. And to achieve that look, to get the light effect, since I'm working from life, I'm the model in the painting, that I have all the windows and blinds shut in my studio. So everything's really dark and I have one single light source to get that dramatic light, but the whole studio then is pretty dark. And so with the corona pandemic going on, right now I'm indoors a lot more. I mean, I'm lucky that the studio's in my house, so I get to keep working, but since I'm, in my studio now more it's just me being like in a dark atmosphere more is not the most comfortable and happiest place to be spending all my time and i'm assuming then when my baby comes that i kind of will be the same where i'll be indoors a lot more for the first few months or year or years <laughs> and so then i want the place that i'm you know, gonna be at for long periods of time and my baby too, to be in a, a lighter, brighter place because I think that's just more comfortable for me. I like that better. And so then since I prefer to work from life when I'm setting up still lifes in my studio or working with figures in my studio, then if I'm having like a lighter, brighter studio, that would definitely be affecting the paintings to be lighter and more airy and bright. And lighter value paintings is something that I did before, like when I was in college before the atelier, I like to use a lot of white fabrics, especially around figures, nude figures, having white fabrics, because you can get so many subtle color changes in white fabrics. I think that's really fun. So I think it's kind of moving back and forth. I still take like the, the technique that I learned in my atelier, but like go back to my, I think my original aesthetic, or at least what I was doing before and then just see how that turns out if I like that. Also a new pregnancy symptom that I started having is rib pain, lower rib pain on my left side. And it can get pretty excruciating towards the end of the day. And I talked to my doctor about it and she's not concerned about it and said it's just like aches and, pain, aches and pains of pregnancy. So I notice it when I like I'll have it when I sit, stand, in certain positions of laying down and it's more so when I'm scrunched there. But even if I'm like sitting up straight, I feel it too. But so if I've been working either standing or sitting um, and it's getting too bad, I'm lucky that I've got, I mean, it's in my house so I can lay down and I put myself in this weird position laying down where like the pain instantly then <laughs> goes away. So then I'll lay down for 30 minutes to an hour and then um, get back up and keep working if it's manageable then. But also I found wearing, I've been wearing my pregnancy belt so consistently throughout the day now. 
I wear it all the time and it really helps with the back pain and also the rib pain too. So I pretty much just don't wear the belt when I'm eating because then my stomach's expanding and then doing yoga or exercise in that way where it's a lot of movements. And then when I sleep too, I don't wear it, but I've, all the other times I'm wearing it and it does help a lot. I'm Jennifer Marie Keller. Please feel free to subscribe to this channel, like and comment on this video because that really does help me out. I put out new videos for my Diary of a Pregnant Artist series every Wednesday and I put out videos for my Diary of a Painter series every Sunday.